Hi all, in this video, we will see how to add a standard function to the milkshake. To demonstrate this, I have created a single process with the message shape, map shape, and the stop shape. So in the message shape, I'm taking the input values, which I'm going to pass to the source profile. And this is a map shape to which I'm going to add the standard functions. So I have taken flat files in both source and the target and two elements in the source profile and two elements in the target profile and now we will see how to add a standard function click on this plus icon add a function to this node and here we will see categories and function so we have different categories of functions like connector custom scripting date language lookup numeric properties string and user defined so now we will discuss the standard function and in the standard function in this video we will see numeric uh, numeric and string functions how to add them into this map sheet so i'm selecting numeric and under numeric we have different types of functions so mark absolute value, mark add, mark subtract, mark multiply, etc. So I'm taking mark add and click OK to add this function. So uh, this is a dialog where we can configure the different uh, where we can configure the default values. So I'm going to pass the values from the message shape this input source flat file so i'm not configuring any default values here and i'm also selecting the caching value as none because i'm not using the caching function then click ok if you're passing any default values then you can configure in the configure default dialog and if you don't pass any value input values then those values will be taken or if you don't map uh, the values uh, uh, of this map add function then the configure default values will be taken so now i'm mapping the first element to value of this map add function and second element to value to add to this function and the resulting value I'm passing into total present in this target flat file. This is a target flat file and it is a star delimited flat file with two elements. I'm just uh, using uh, passing mapping the result field to the total. I'm not mapping the string uh, string tree field. So after adding this mark add function, I'm going to save this mark. And we will run the process and see how the mark add function will functions. So these are the values that, uh, that are passed as input to this uh, source flat file. So click on test. If you click on this stop shape, you can see the result value. It will be 108 star. Since it is a target, uh, target flat file is a star del delimited flat file with two elements, and we just mapped one element. Uh, we see 108 star, um, 1 plus 107, the result, result of the math add function, which is 108. And next to this map, we are going to add a string standard string function. So I'm going to select string in the categories. And we have different string functions: left character string, right character string, white space string, 
string append, string open, string contact, and so on. So as an example, I'm just uh, going to select the string append. Click OK. And you can, uh, as said earlier, you can configure if you have any default values. You can configure from here. Otherwise, we can also give them pass them to the inputs of the mark sheet. So I'm not using any caching option. So I'm selecting the caching as none. Click OK. So we have uh, original string. We have three fields in this configure default uh, dialog. And this particular uh, configure default dialog will differ for different functions. So for the string function, the string append, uh, these are the three values which we can configure in the configure default dialog. So original string, I'm going to pass to the source flat file. So I'm not configuring any default value here. So fixed to min, I'm passing it as int and tab to append. So I'm not pass passing any uh, value, any string value here. I'm going to pass it through the source flag file. Click OK. And uh, now I'm removing this value. And I'm mapping this first element to original string and second element to tab to append. So the original string will be the value which comes to this first element. And the appending value to this first element will be the second one. The value which is stored in the second one will be appended to the first string. And I'm fixing the length of the resulting string to 8. So I'm passing this string length as 8 here in the configure default values. And the result, I'm passing it to string 3. So I will click Save and test the process. So before testing the process, I'm changing the input in the message shape, input values in the message shape. So I'm removing the values which I use for the numeric uh, standard function. I'm changing it to different values to demonstrate the string function. So I have added fine apple. So click OK. So the first element is fine and the second element is apple. I mean, first string is fine and the tab to append is apple and I'm fixing the length to 8. So the resulting string value should be uh, stored in string 3 and we will see up to L in the present resulting string since we are fixing the length to 8. Now we will click on OK. And save the process and test it. So we can see here the resulting string up to L.
since we have fixed the length of the cat too. So the resulting string value will have characters up to L since we have fixed the length to eight characters. So and since the target flat file is a start element of flat file, and this is a second element in it, we are seeing start file APP L. Uh, we will discuss uh, further about the standard map functions in other videos. Thank you.